We're at my house at home, in my little shop here. I gotta rivet these sides that Bob made on. I gotta pop all the holes and rivet them. And then rivet this reinforcement thing. And all other than that, it's done. bit and I put a little piece of tape on it just the width of of some three-quarter inch masking tape and wrap it so it's pretty thick on there so when I'm drilling the hole it hits the tape and stops and doesn't run the chuck into the piece because if you're riveting something polished that's just gonna put a big donut right and a big scratch right where you were getting ready to rivet so then you'll have to stop and repolish it and all that so best thing to do is just do one at a time and put a Clico in it, you know? The impulse is to like, okay, drill them all and then put the Clicos in, but it never fails, you know? Stuff will move around just a little bit and then your holes won't line up and you'll end up welding up holes and having to re-drill them and re-Clico them if you try to get greedy. So, you know, this stuff takes time and that's what makes it cool that it's not all like readily store bought. There's a good feeling when you get a good rivet and you can feel it like it's only moving like maybe a not even a sixteenth of an inch, but when you feel it like just and you could feel the metal tighten up and everything squeeze together, that's like the sweet spot. Cool. Our twist is totally gone, so now there's no wobble in it and it sits flat and it's strong. So, you know, so now putting our side and, and top and bottom pieces, now it's only going to make them stronger. It's kind of the way this whole type of fabrication works. It's not any one thing that makes it strong, it's everything working together as a unit, you know. Yeah, I mean, the thing's like, nothing's going anywhere now. Gradually, I think society is taking the craftsmanship out of stuff more and more. There's less and less guys that are vital to make stuff happen. And so to keep this kind of technology going, you know, that's important. This thing kind of doesn't fit right, and the piece was kind of cut undersize and so it's gonna have a big gap it's not gonna fit very well I said just wire edge it I know how to do that I'm gonna wire edge, so I need a half inch of material. So this line is our, that's the actual edge of the metal. So the, the bead is gonna need a half inch of material to roll over the wire, so I added a half inch to our line. It's kinda nice just to cut it to the shape you want and then bead it and then be done with it. Sometimes you can have all this fancy tools and I'm still better at it just by doing it the way I've always done it. I even remember the dude that taught me this, this Australian dude named Andy Palmer. I liked him because he was fast, fast.
fast, fast metal guy. That guy, he's a <laughs> but he was good. I'm gonna bead blast this, give it like kind of an old look. Looks kind of cool, blasted. Bob kind of made this geometric, you know, where it kind of bow, bow. I think I might correct it and just go out around it and like make it a swoop, you know? Actually, that looks bitchin' straightening that line out, because then it looks more like kind of purpose-built. That looked like crap 30 minutes ago, huh? I mean, we could keep going and just keep adding reinforcements and rivets for days. Feel that now, man, that thing's like solid. It just looks cool. Aesthetically, it's way more complicated looking because it's it's just got all these little dots on it and they're all symmetrical and it just it's just a cool look. And I think people are kind of interested in that type of work, but don't necessarily know how to do like aircraft style riveting. So we're trying to give them like the Cliff Notes version of how to make something cool. And they, you don't have to make a seat, you could make anything. You could make a transmission tunnel cover or a dash or a fuel tank or, you know, motorcycle parts or whatever. All, all the, the process is all the same. All the little tips and tricks for, for riveting is the same. It's just what, where you want to point it. So don't look at just the seat and think, oh, this is only how to make a seat. No, because you could make an infinite number of things with this same process.